this is a quick movie, quick tutorial about how to add photos to your iPhone. So let's assume that you got your iPhone and you want to, to put some photos on your new device. Uh, you can do it by iTunes. So let's assume that you installed it already. Now this is a Mac, but it's not uh, it's not uh, the first uh, Windows and Mac. So you can find your iPhone here. You can go to the device settings and go and go to photos. But uh, this one has uh, got uh, iCloud Photos on, so you won't be able to move photos through through iTunes. So. Let's check the, the photo status now. Uh, we can go to, to my iPhone, to download it, and uh, press press photos. When you press it, we have only only this uh, one album. So uh, let's assume that we want to have some more photos. So if you turned on your iTunes uh, iCloud library. You can check it in, in the settings. iCloud Photos is on. So and iCloud Photo Library is turned on. And uh, that's a good option, even for small small iPhones, especially for small uh, storage devices because a lot of your photos will be uh, just downloaded in a, in a thumbnail form. So when you run out of uh, space on your device, uh, they will be left on iCloud Drive and the originals will be kept there and not on your iPhone. So you, uh, you can it, they, they will be deleted automatically, so to save your uh, save your space. And when you want to see them, you will see that they will be uh, downloaded, and you will have this uh, little circle in the bar, like you see, like you see, like you see in the bottom right corner for for. A, for a brief second here. Uh, you can see it better with the movies because they are downloaded uh, before you can uh, watch them. Uh, the downside is that you have to have uh, uh, internet connection to, to see them. So uh, if you have no internet connection at all, for example, you don't uh, want to use your mobile mobile data. It's not an option. It's not a very good option for you. So let's go back to to our main problem. We want to put some photos on on your uh, device. So, uh, like I said, you've got your iCloud photos on, so you can upload your photos using uh, just. Uh, just a web browser. For example, let's use Chrome. So let's go to Chrome. I've already logged in, but you can go here by typing down iCloud.com and you will be asked to log in with the same uh, Apple ID account as you have here in your settings on your iPhone. So that's my that's my uh, Apple ID here in the upper part. Okay, so when you logged in, you have photos here. And as you can see, or you should see exactly the same photos as, as we can see on my iPhone. So here we've got those photos those eight photos and you can see them here so if we want to upload some photos here you just press this button and you find some photos on your computers 
on your computer. So I have some wallpaper downloaded here. Let's check. You can see it's uploading. And you've got it here. And when, when you see on your iPhone, here we've got so just like this, when you've got your iTunes, uh, your iCloud uh, library turned on, they will be automatically shown here. So when I delete it here, it will be removed from from the photos here because it's basically the same place. So let's do that again. Let's check both of them, they are being uploaded and as you can see we've got, we already uh, have them here. Uh, try to look in the bottom right uh, corner when I will open those, uh, those, those photos. No, I found, unfortunately we don't have the loading bar, uh, the loading indicator. So uh, that's the that's the easiest way for uh, taking photos uh, from computer to your uh, to your to your iPhone. If you want to turn on these uh, photos. Uh, iCloud photo library, uh, go to settings, iCloud and photos and the first option should be turned on. Then I recommend, recommend you to optimize iPhone stories because then the thing that I described will be done so you can uh, make as lot photos as you can, uh, as much photos as you have uh, iCloud storage. So basically, you, you've got five gigabytes. Uh, so it it should be enough for uh, for the beginning. Uh, and then when you mm, when you make them, you can add them to a special uh, special. Uh, stream photo stream so they won't be counted to uh, to your uh, limit I can show it to you uh, show it to you now uh, we can start uh, our trick with the photos that I've got here so let's do it, do it on iPhone so let's check those three photos and let's add them to photo to photo stream. So let's create a new shared album and let's call it uh, saving space. Okay. Okay. So comments are optional. And now it's created completely separate space with those three photos. We can here it's got three photos. And they are in the photo stream, not in uh, uh, not in my drive. So they they aren't counted. As you can see uh, the time of this process depends on your internet connection speed so we have to wait for it to finish we've added them to the special stream now we will delete them from from an iPhone so we don't have got in, we don't have them on an iPhone but we've got them in this shared album space still got them here and 
they don't use space on an iPhone anymore. So if you want to have a lot of photos or movies, you just shoot them, then add them to these separate streams and they won't take any space on your phone. So uh, once again, if you want to move some photos on your iPhone, the easiest way is to turn on the iCloud uh, iCloud photo library. To do it, you go to settings, iCloud, photos and turn on the first option. I strongly uh, uh, suggest to turn on the optimize iPhone storage. Then go to iCloud.com Log in with your credentials, go to photos, and use this upper button to upload photos to your uh, to your iCloud, and then you will see them on your iPhone as well. So, click this, select something, click upload and then you will have uh, it on your phone where does it work? let's click it click open and it will be uploading it keeps uploading as you can see uploading duplicate photo yet because it doesn't know that we've deleted it yet so there you have it it's simple as that if you have any comments please ask them in the questions we are thinking about uh, creating uh, as lot uh, as much uh, videos as you uh, as you need to uh, to use your uh, iPhone uh, in the easiest way possible. Thank you very much.